What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series, Darth Vader. And so here we have Darth Vader pose and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's take a look at his accessories. Darth Vader only comes with his lightsaber, which does come with his ignited blade, which looks really nice, and you can have him holstering it on his side. Other than that, Darth Vader doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at the Dark Lord of the Sith. And so here we have a closer look at Darth Vader and I think Hasbro does an amazing job with Darth Vader's look and just the overall presentation of Darth Vader. I really do like the way this figure came out although I do have some issues that we got to talk about. I like the head sculpt for the most part. It's the exact same head sculpt that we saw with the Anniversary slash Rogue One Darth Vader. So it's perfectly accurate for the time and I think it's one of the better Darth Vader helmets. I do like the fact that they did carry over the gunmetal shading that he has on his helmet. For those of you who don't know, the original Darth Vader helmet had some gunmetal uh, painted throughout the helmet just so that it captured and reflected light better. If it was just cast in all black, you wouldn't get this iconic image of Vader. You can see how the light captures it right here on his cheek, underneath this eye, underneath his, uh, on his collar right there. It all comes together very, very nicely and I do love that. I especially love the fact they did tint his lenses, although I think they should be more red. They're kind of brown right here. They're supposed to be like a reddish tint and they did that with the original Rogue One slash Anniversary Darth Vader where they just kind of tinted it brown. That should actually be red but overall really do like the helmet. It is iconic. It's Darth Vader. Now the only problem I have with it is that it attracts dust very easy. I like the fact that it is a satin finish because he didn't get a high gloss polished helmet till Re Return of the Jedi so I do like that this is accurate. As far as the rest of the figure goes he is not accurate to the show. I did go through the stills and saw that his armor is completely wrong. The armor that they gave him here is the armor from his Rogue One slash uh, A New Hope style where it comes out to a point like this. In Kenobi he kind of had his Empire Strikes Back armor where it kind of had like a flat point then kind of curved slightly this is just a straight line and like I said it's reminiscent of his Rogue One and his New Hope look so yeah it is a little bit inconsistent that this is supposed to be the Kenobi version of Darth Vader but they gave him the wrong armor I do like the outfit though now it's the exact same that we got with that anniversary Darth Vader there's absolutely nothing different in terms of detail and sculpt I think the paintwork might be different maybe the box is different I'll have to double check the box but I'm pretty sure his box right here is the exact same the sculpt work on his arms is also the same and they even kept his horizontal hinges on both his hands they didn't update it at all which I think that's a huge misstep by Hasbro they should have at least updated his hands so that he had proper lightsaber holding hands the belt is the exact same just with better paint apps and I do like that same with the cod piece it's the exact same so there's really nothing too special about this Darth Vader in terms of sculpt. Now what separates him from his A New Hope slash Rogue One is that his robe actually goes underneath the armor, which that is accurate to Kenobi, which I don't know why he would wear the the robe underneath his armor for 10 years and then suddenly drape it over. They should have just kept that consistent, but that was a George Lucas thing. Vader had his robe underneath the armor at the end of Revenge of the Sith, so yeah, it's a George Lucas thing, not a Disney thing. I do like the high gloss on his gloves. It does do a really good job separating his suit from his gloves, so that it's, that's really good. And then we go on to his legs where it continues that padded look, which looks good. Then we go on to his uh, shin guards right here where that has a really nice shine to it. Really glossy, really do like that. And then we go on to his boot with some really nice detail. And I do like the fact that his boot has some really nice texture going from the sole to the foot going all the way up to his calf where you can see where the boot ends and where his suit tucks in. That's a really nice little detail. I really do like that.
So overall, there isn't really anything too spectacular about this Darth Vader. It's the same one that we got with Rogue One and the Anniversary Collection Darth Vader. So unfortunately, if you have that, you're not really missing out. But I really do like the overall presentation of this Vader because his uh, cape here is much lighter than the original Rogue One Anniversary Vader. So his cape actually can move out of the way and you can actually shape it as you need it to. So I do like that. So we can get that iconic silhouette of Darth Vader. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Darth Vader posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Darth Vader posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure in a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Darth Vader posed next to a Lightning Collection White Range in a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have Darth Vader posed next to the Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi and Reva. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at Darth Vader's articulation. Now, Darth Vader does have a single ball joint here at the head, which doesn't really provide too much movement. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't really look up and down all too well, although he's not going to be doing much of that anyway. And very little head pivot. He does turn left and right at the head, though. He does have a ball joint here at the shoulder, which does let his arm go out all the way to the side goes all the way around no problem no bicep swivel but we do have a single bend at the elbow giving us only 90 degrees which that's pretty standard for Vader we do get some rotation right here at his arm then he does have a swivel and horizontal hinge at the wrist and that's the same for both arms unfortunately he does have a ball joint here at the torso although it doesn't get the most range mostly you're gonna get a swivel out of it but as far as forward and back movement nah you don't get much of it anyway his legs do kick forward to about right there which is pretty good for Darth Vader going back that's about as far as it's gonna go out to the side Vader actually does some really good splits so yeah that is pretty good he does swivel here at the thigh then we do have a double bend at the knee seeing as how he is an older figure he keeps that double joint here at the knee, so I do like that piece of articulation. Then he does have a hinge in the ankle, which unfortunately doesn't go forward. It does go back, and we do have forward-facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, Darth Vader here has some pretty okay articulation. Nothing spectacular, but it is standard by Darth Vader. So I guess the articulation scheme works for this figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Darth Vader pose for my final thoughts and overall a very good figure done by Hasbro. Now if I do have a complaint is that they went with the Rogue One slash Anniversary Darth Vader body. I honestly feel that they should have gone with the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader just because that one does have a better neck joint and the articulation works a little bit better plus the armor would have been accurate to the TV show. Not that I'm complaining about small things like that but it is something to note that they use the completely wrong armor for this figure. This figure needed more of an Empire Strikes Back armor rather than a New Hope armor. But overall, Darth Vader here is still a really impressive figure. I do like it. I think I like this one a little bit more than the Rogue One slash Anniversary series. Although I still think my favorite is the Empire Strikes Back Vader. Now, if you are looking for Darth Vader, he is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video and he will run you about $22 to $24 depending on your area. I was lucky enough to pick up mine for $19 off Amazon. Amazon found it for a cheaper price than retail and they did honor that price for me so I am happy about that. But Darth Vader here is such an iconic character. If you don't have him in your collection, I do like the fact that Hasbro gave you another opportunity to have him. They did release him when Rogue One came out, then they did release him with the anniversary for Empire as well as another Black series for Empire. And now we do get the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which I really do like the fact that we do get opportunities to pick up Darth Vader. For such an iconic character, Hasbro does a really good job in designing him. I just hope that when they do the Return of the Jedi Darth Vader, they update his wrists to give him more articulation but yeah overall this is a solid figure done by Hasbro 
with that being said guys i'm king of dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other star wars black series videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection i'll gladly have a look at it while you're at it check out my instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always ring that bell to be notified anytime i upload a video until next time guys i'll see you later Take care, everyone.